Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. Today I'm going to show you what I do with a coral that's got me really scared. Now this is called brown jelly disease, as I see it. And I noticed that the large leather from time to time will develop this. Sometimes it develops lacerations and then they reheal. So I found the best way to handle this is leave it alone. I used to put my turkey baster in there and blast this stuff off, but I found it comes back and sometimes it irritates it. So I let nature take its course on this. Obviously I can't ever remove a coral this size, so you have to hope that it's healthy enough to heal itself. I had an offspring of this over here and it developed brown jelly disease and died. It kind of turned to mush after a few months. So I'm hoping this heals itself. Morning observation here, guys. I'm gonna have some surgery here. I mentioned before, usually I let the brown jelly go and it sloughs itself off or comes off, but I can see that this is moving inside the leather coral, the discoloration in this area is what's scaring me. So I'm not going to take any chances on letting it go. I'm going to cut that section out. This has been doing this now for several days. I was going to let it go, but I think I'd rather take a chance in cutting it out and letting it heal. You want to make sure you have really sharp scissors when you do this. I use these, they're called Fiskars. Fiskars, they're, they're really sharp. And I keep these only for cutting coral. I don't cut anything else. So what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is go in, it seems harsh, but it's the only way. And I'm gonna cut the wedge out of the section that I believe is damaged. You no, know, it's like crazy, but let's see, it's such, such a thick piece, but some of you may be saying, what about, is this toxic? And we'll find out because I don't know for sure on this piece. All right, so that's off. I think that's all the bad pieces. Jeez, see it? All right, I should have probably done that without the pump on, but I didn't. So that looks like it that's just a piece, little piece here. Hopefully, this other, these other pieces are just small. I know, it's a big gash out of my nice big coral. I didn't want the whole thing dying. It's crude, but it will heal. So we'll follow this. I also put a fresh piece of filter floss in here. I just put it in yesterday. So that'll collect all the unwanted stuff that I don't want floating around the tank. So you can see the tank is 8.30 in the morning. Things haven't opened up yet. And hopefully that'll do the trick. Uh, I lost my other one, as I said before. I lost my other leather when that stuff set in. Now that back there is scaring me a little bit, but we'll have to keep an eye on it and watch the healing process. All right, this is about an hour later. I'm coming in to check on it. You can see how it's already kind of pulling itself together. There's a little bit here in the crack, but I found that at least the area around it is not discolored like the other one was. So this is about an hour later. And the water's a little cloudy. You can see that, but that'll go away. 
so we'll keep following it. Everything else seems to look okay. Nothing stressed. Fish look okay. I use Kemi Pure. This is old school. It's been around forever. It's the original formula. And I'll put that in the tank when I do stuff like this. Sometimes I keep carbon in there on a regular basis, but more recently I've been leaving that out and haven't noticed any difference in the water quality. In this situation, after cutting the leather, if there's any kind of slight toxins in the water, I'll put it in there. Okay, so it's about four hours later, and you can see the progress here. Obviously, the polyps aren't going to extend out on it, but you can see how it's kind of closing in on that area. Actually, it doesn't even look like anything was done, does it? Unless you go down in here, you can kind of see it or up here you can see the hole. So there it is, about four hours later. Check this out, guys. This is five days of growth with this Chato from last week's video. You can see how it's really rapidly growing. It means I have a lot of nitrate being absorbed. So this is the next day. It's looking a lot better. It's starting to open up. The polyps are starting to open. There's one section in the back still I'm a little concerned about right there, but that's small. Let's see what happens. See, there's a piece there, but that's not discoloring the whole leather. This is a day later from when I did the cutting. All right, take it easy, guys.